Hello everyone, this is Jaswinder and today we are looking at Zbytes dplat for making a hello world application. A hello world application is your first application that you create on blockchain that lets you know the fundamentals of a decentralized app. In this hello app, we will simply uh, store a number on blockchain and then retrieve it. What you have in front of the screen uh, what you have in front of you on the screen is a sample app that I've already created Okay So let's say I put a number here, which is 25 and do store Once I hit store uh, the wallet comes up asking me for approval Once I approve this this number 25 is actually being stored on chain We will then retrieve the number and sort of display it uh, here Alrighty, so the number got stored and I'm now going to click on retrieve to check what number it was You can see it goes to 25 again. So this is what the app is. It's very simple It stores a number on chain and then retrieves it It helps us understand the basics of a decentralized application which does not have any central entity sitting anywhere inside uh, your user end and your back end. I will begin with creating a simple app on the platform. Let me click on new. First of all, let's rename this app to hello world app. Okay. What you see on your left hand side is uh, your widgets, which is basically the front end of the app. You have queries in JS, your custom JavaScript code, your data sources, which are your uh, smart contracts, databases, APIs, and then you have your JavaScript libraries that you can use. What I'll do is pick a container widget and paste two of them actually one to use as somewhat of a banner and another to create the form actually we could just use the form widget directly to do so as you have seen the app we would be uh, taking input from the user and then we were we are going to store that number on chain First of all, let me make this form a little longer. I will drag the buttons to okay. I can also change the theme of the app. So I think I'm going to go with this blue over here right so let me change the color of this container uh, make it exactly like what we saw in the example app before we started making the application uh, I think we will make the buttons black in color so there you go and right I'll also probably just take this guy away right so and you can always press preview to see how your screen is looking so don't forget to use that so okay what i'll do is take a simple text widget and put it here and say the app is hello world store a number on chain you can also make the size of the font bigger so that's what i will do here drag and drop this a bit 
we also need to take input from the user so I will drag and drop and use an input widget I will take the label off and in default value I'll say number next thing I'll do is drag and drop a text widget and say input a number and format this a bit and there you go so we have a simple input box that we use to take input numbers from the user now the second thing you need to do is display the number that you retrieve from the blockchain so there are multiple ways to do it you can use a simple uh, text uh, widget uh, and use that uh, I personally like to do this with a number slider so that once you're fetching something the number just slides on the slider and it looks uh, kind of cool uh, I'll take this away and make a shift here and maybe copy another text widget from the top and just say number here right uh, uh, we will come to how to display this number on the slide bar in a minute but let's look at what these buttons do so let's say the submit button help us store the number on chain so I'll call it store and the retrieve button lets you retrieve the number from blockchain right so we now have a simple UI uh, where you input a number and then you can store it and then you retrieve a number from the chain and it shows up on the slider. I will now uh, look at a smart contract to do this. So we have made the front end with the widgets. Now let's look at the smart contracts to do so. Uh, what you'd have to do is go to data sources you'll see that there are traditional data sources here etc uh, you can see in smart contracts I only see carbon tracking uh, so you have to go and go and click on add contract and you'll see multiple contracts here and we will pick the hello world contract from here and you will see that it will start showing up here what I'll do is click on hello world call it let's call it store number right and you can see that this smart contract has two functions store and retrieve we will initialize both of them because we plan to use both of them and go back in the active data sources uh, take retrieve as well and initialize it just So now you have uh, these two smart contract functions. Hold on. Yes. So store number data source has two queries. You can see that retrieve and store are being shown here. So we have picked the smart contract and picked the function we want to use from that smart contract. The next thing which is pending here is now integrating uh, the front end uh, with the smart contract functions. Let's go to our UI again. One thing that we want to do is say that once you click the store button, on the right hand side you will see properties of these button. I'm going to go and click on the on click property. And now you can pick that you want to execute a smart contract function and you want to execute the function store. So what this is doing is once you click on the store button, the store smart contract function gets executed i will also display a success message and an error message in case something goes wrong or right 
perfect so we now have uh, the store button connected with the smart store function from the smart contract one thing we need to do is um, let's name this input as number now you would see that uh, the store function expects a number from the UI so to do that you'll have to put double curly brackets here and you will start seeing recommendations from your front end so number is the name of the field we just uh, created the input field so number dot text helps us to get the text from that number that input field I mean now we will do uh, the same integration for the retrieve function too so on for the retrieve button we will do execute the retrieve function from the smart contract uh, retrieve function doesn't need any inputs it will just get you the number on chain back however one thing that you need to do here is uh, change this uh, number slider to display uh, the number from chain so one thing that you have to do is in the default value let's put uh, whatever you get from the retrieve function so retrieve dot data and even in the marks we could put this so we will say value of the marks is retrieve dot data and the label of the mark is retrieve dot data with the double curly brackets as well right uh, so we have this simple UI that lets you store a number on chain and retrieve a number on chain we picked the smart contract we initialized the function we connected both the functions with the UI now let's deploy the app and look at how that process goes so I'm going to click on the button deploy and pick the smart contract hello world that I'm going to deploy I will pick the chain polygon here and click on deploy so the wallet pops up asking me to approve this transaction I am going to do that you can see the contract hash appears and the smart contract is deployed successfully next thing I can do is I would do is publish the app and the app goes live in another window and you can start using it let's try to put a number here which is 53 and store it once you hit the store button the wallet pops up asking you for approval so I will approve this transaction you will see that we put the success message yes so we should see yes or no accordingly if get this gets succeeded or not this gets succeeded uh, and we see the prompt yes now we will retrieve this number and okay so you can see the 53 number shows up on the slider uh, from the blockchain so that's it guys this is a simple hello world uh, the app that lets you store a number on chain and then retrieve it uh, this app uh, clarifies a very simple architecture of how a d app is built which is a ui and then a smart contract on blockchain